become author Amy Shannon. Uh, most people know me as a book reviewer. I own and operate Amy's Bookshelf Reviews, um, and I focus on um, the indie author and their stories, and I try to tell their stories and share them with my reviews. Um, but my blog takes um, work from any author of any genre, um, so and I always accepting new requests, and I look forward to reading each author's books each, each time. Um, um, really, I am a storyteller at heart. Um, I've always been a storyteller. Um, I've written over 108 books. I have so many, so many that are unfinished. Um, I've been having a hard time getting some of the stuff on paper due to some health issues, so I have created um, a series called Storytelling with author Amy Shannon. Um, and so I'm going to tell you a little bit about me first. And this is video one, and it's basically my story. Um, I've been telling stories and making up stories and sharing them with people since I was young, about four years old. My mom always called me a storyteller. I used to uh, tell stories, um, you know, rearrange uh fairy tales and write my own version of like the three bears and the three little pigs, um, that kind of thing. I really, um, I think I have both a creative and a logical mind um, and I grew up being um, independent um, and I learned that you had to, you had to be strong, especially being the oldest of five children. Um, and I watched my mom, and the one thing well, she taught me so much, but the one thing she always taught me was to be kind and not to judge people. And I don't. I treat people as I would want to be treated. Um, some people just can't look beyond what's in front of their face. I like to see what's deeper. And if I don't know, you know, maybe I'll think of a creative way of what's going on. Um, so this is my story. Um, I've had a long and interesting life, and I look forward to many more years to come. I have four grown sons. Um, the youngest two are twins, and they just turned 20. Um, 14 years ago, I was a victim of domestic violence uh, when my former ex-late husband um, tried to kill me. He all of a sudden decided that he hated me, so he wanted me dead. Um, I, my health issues, most of them are related to the injuries I've suffered. Um, I have a headache every single day, and I've had the same headache for about 14 years, and it's just been a... The severity depends on day-to-day, hour-to-hour, minute-to-minute of what hurts and what can be tolerated. It's amazing how much pain one person can tolerate when they get used to it. Um, but I'm trying not to let that define me. Um, I have raised a special needs child, and I have gone through the different processes of raising a disabled child um, and doing it myself. And it was a struggle. Um, my son uh, suffers from um, autism, um, a form of autism on the spectrum, and he also suffers from bipolar. Um, but he is doing well now. He's coping without any medication at all, so I'm very proud of that. But it was a long road. Um, and I try to open myself up to help others that have been in similar situations. Um, I think it's very important to share information with people. Um, I think what I, about me, I like to learn stuff and then share what I learned with others. And it could be from experience, from doing research, or just writing a story, it doesn't matter. This is what I wanna do. Since I can't always put everything on paper, um, and I wish I could, I'm doing these videos. Um, some will tell stories. Some will, will be discussions about um, books that I've written, stories that I've written, how those stories came about, and a little insight. Um, 
but this is just my way of sharing with others a little piece of me. Um, and maybe it would be nice if I was more than just a book reviewer or more than a co-host on a podcast. Um, but I support indie authors, um, at anyone in any form of creativity, whether it's an artist, a sculptor, um, a writer, um, painter, whatever. Um, when you take your talent and then share that with others, you are putting yourself on the line of being critiqued. Um, some, some is good, some is not, but it takes a lot of courage just to share something that you've created with someone else. So um, it's, if you have that feeling, you're, you're not alone. Um, I hope that I'll be able to get more stuff done on paper. Um, but I am glad that I can be here to share my story. Um, and I hope I have many more years of many more stories to come. Um, and I look forward to sharing that. And hopefully, maybe I'll get some responses or comments. And I'd be happy to answer anyone's questions um, about the process, being an indie author, especially new authors. Um, my first book was published in 2005. Um, so I've been at this a long time, uh, ups and downs, different experiences, but I am um, willing to share what I know with others to help them out. Um, so I thank you for listening to me go on and on. And um, my next video will be released soon. So thank you and enjoy your story.